Good morning, everyone. Jorgelina with Padme Resources, Pixar Mysteries and Education Facebook group. Um, this is our decimal of the day um, activities that I've been sharing on Facebook. Um, and I had a request to add a hyphen to the word form. Um, I personally like having them like this without um, the hyphen uh, between the 70 and the 9 in this case. But if you did want to add um, a different way of writing this, you can definitely do that. And I will show you how, like if you prefer a different writing here. Um, so this is a copy. I will go ahead and share it in uh, on Facebook as well and in the description of this YouTube video. But if you wanted to change this, you first need to make sure that we can see sheet two. That's where all of our answers are. So I'm gonna go to view and then um, right here where it says sh um, hidden sheets. So view, hidden sheets, and I'm going to go to sheet two. Okay, it's gonna give us this heads up. Um, this is mostly a warning. Um, it hopefully deters some kids there or um, you if you're making any changes uh, to make sure that you pay um, attention because this is kind of all, where all the formatting is at. So I'm just gonna say don't show this again for five minutes so that we can work in peace. <laughs> All right, so here's sheet two. Um, it's nice and tiny. I've gone ahead and hid everything. This makes it really annoying if students are trying to get in there. Um, but there is a quick way to get everything that you need. I am going to select this top corner so that it selects the entire sheet. And then I'm just gonna grab anywhere here and just um, stretch it out. So that way I can see all of the pieces um, that I need here. While I have the entire sheet open, I'm going to change the font to 10. You'll see why. It's just because I make the font really, really tiny in here um, so students can't see it. Um, and then on top of that, I am going to right click anywhere on the sheet. Uh, if you um, left click, it's going to unselect the whole sheet. So you want to select again and then right click and go to view more cell options and conditional formatting. Okay, so view more cell options, conditional formatting. Let's do that again. Select the entire sheet, right click, view more cell options, uh, conditional formatting. And see how here, this is what's hiding the answers. So I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so now that I deleted it, when I scroll down on my sheet, I should be able to see those answers. Something's going on here. It's, all right, so we've deleted that. I don't know why the sheet looks so funky right now. I'm gonna go back to sheet one. I'm gonna refresh this page. This isn't, uh, it isn't gonna change our instructions. It's just I'm working in Safari, so I think that's what it is. It's not liking me right now. All right, so I'm gonna go to sheet two again. Yeah, that looks better. Um, I don't know why I was doing that gray thing. So this is what it should look like for you. Okay, so um, we've deleted, right? We selected all this. We right-clicked, view more cell options, um, conditional formatting, and just again, right? And now it's gone, right? So I'm gonna delete that one because we don't need it. So when you scroll down, you should be able to see all of your answers. Okay, so where it says answer. So this is the one we wanna change. So if you wanna hyphen, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a hyphen there. Notice how this changes to zero. That means that the answer in the first page is incorrect now, and this should be red. So now, if you want the hyphen here, then now you have the hyphen. So if that's all you need, then you're ready to go to start hiding um, if you want the hyphen. Um, if you wanna accept both answers, there is a way that we can do that as well. Okay, so I will show you that that's a little bit more advanced. We're gonna have to go into the formula. Um, but if you do wanna accept both, stick around and then you can do that to the answers as well. Okay, so right now it's accept accepting just the one with the hyphens. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to sheet two. I am going to open up this formula here where the numbers are, okay? So first I have to view, show my formula bar. So view, show formula bar. So I can see the formula here, okay? And then I am going to add another iteration of this answer here, okay? So it's 79 and eight hundreds. Okay, so let's say we wanted to add that one. 
Right now, it's not doing anything, right? I just added that answer here. If you wanted a different way of spelling it, you can write it here, um, or something else you want to accept, you can write it here. Okay, so you can have as many of these as you want. Um, but right now, right, if I take this off, it's not accepting it yet. I have to change that formula. So I'm gonna go here into where you see the zero, and I want you to pay attention that now that new answer is in R, in the column R, not in Q. Okay, so I'm gonna put inside of the parentheses, I am going to put a uh, comma, and then instead of Q82, I'm going to put R82 equals, and then I'm just gonna type exactly what I see here, or you can, so that you don't make any mistakes, you can select this and copy and then paste it right next to it. Okay, so now it's gonna select, now it's going to accept either of those two answers. So notice how this turned into one now. So now if, um, oh, we're gonna have to change that color too. But, but the puzzle showed up, right? So it's red and that's because we need to change, <laughs> oh man, one more step. If you want more than one option, you are going to have to do this as well if you care about the red and the green. Okay, so I'm gonna right click here, go to view more cell options and conditional formatting. So notice how this one has this indirect here. We're also going to have to um, change, let's see what would be the best way to do it. I am stumping myself. So if it's equal to, this one, we're gonna have to duplicate this one. All right, so whoop, right click, view more cell options, conditional formatting. The green one is the one we're gonna wanna duplicate. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to add another rule. I clicked on it and I'm going to add another rule. When I do that, it's going to duplicate that one. Okay, so now instead of saying Q82, I also want it to be R82. Okay, so if it's equal to R82, which was the one right next to it, then I do want it to turn green, okay? Notice how it's still red, and that's because the red one needs to be all the way at the bottom because your conditional formatting is red in order. So this is the first order if it's empty. This is the second order, your first answer, and then this is the second one. If I move this up, now it's reading this one first. So it goes, if this one's true, turn blue. If it's not blue, if it's not true, then check this one. If this one's not true, then check this one. If this one's not true, then check this one. Okay, so now it will work for both. Let's close this, go back here, right? And now if I have 79, it's still green. And now let's say I um, accidentally don't have a space. Now it's red because it's incorrect. Okay, so I will leave this with the hyphen, accepting both. And now the last step is to make sure we hide everything again. This is how I do that. I am going to, I mean, technically we don't need these. You can delete everything. The only thing you gotta keep is this column and this one. I like to keep it in there just in case anybody wants to come in here and um, update um, their answers like we did right now. So I am going to select everything that has text. And to select a bunch of fields, I hold down the command key on a map on a Mac or the control key on a Windows computer. So I'm just selecting that shift, that um, command key, and I selected everything that I wanna hide. I'm gonna change the font to one so that it's nice and tiny. I'm gonna don't show for five minutes. While I still have everything selected, I'm going to right click, view more cell options and conditional formatting. Okay, so right click, view more cell options and conditional formatting. I realize I missed one, I'll show you how to add that one. I'm going to change this to white and then change the font size to white and now they've all disappeared. I need to change this one too though. So I missed one here, the one we added. So I'm gonna click on this select data range here, add another range and I'm gonna click on that one. And then when I do that, it's gonna disappear I'm gonna change that one to font one too while I have it selected. Done, it's all hidden. Close that out, select the whole sheet, make it really tiny. You don't have to do that part, but I just like doing that. It, it annoys the kids if they're trying to find something small and they don't know to select all of them. 
I am going to right click here and hide sheet. Okay, so now it's hidden. Last thing is to hide the formula bar. So I'm gonna go to view, show, and then unclick formula bar. And that is it. If you need to rewatch any pieces, I'll try my best to put on timestamps at the bottom. I hope you found this useful and I will see you on the next video. Bye.